Welcome back to the channel everybody. This is Great White Northerner and we're here hunting a box of quarters today. So this box came from the group of boxes that I got when I was picking up the pennies and I picked up that roll of nickels that was in the little white Royal Bank uh, plastic holder. And so that was where, uh, as we were going through, she said, oh yeah, uh, this lady brought in the, these nickels. And then she brought some more nickels that are in these boxes. So I grabbed both the boxes of nickels that they had from them. And then she also or said she also brought in some quarters as well. So I picked up this box and pretty much everything else they had in their vault was stuff that I've returned to them. So uh, I didn't have a tremendous amount of luck with those nickel boxes. Uh, so they may not actually hit the, uh, hit the YouTube. Um, but let's hope we get a little bit more success with the quarters. The pennies I had a lot of fun with, and so you'll see me hunt at least a couple of boxes of those pennies, and we had some good success in some of those boxes. So uh, so this here um, is all customer-wrapped rolls, obviously. Uh, there's some of the plastic rolls in here. I did look through them. I didn't see anything jump out at me as far as uh, silver and so on. Uh, but there's this one here, which is kind of interesting. So the, this is typically mint-rolled. And so usually wouldn't necessarily be all that interesting to me unless I really wanted, like say with their 2020s and you wanted to get some uh, fresh out of the pack 2020s and they'd be good for that. Uh, but what these actually are is the 2000 Millennial Pride Quarters, if you can see that in there. I don't know yet, so we can get in there a little closer. So this one has a die rotation variation. So I am probably going to crack this. Uh, it'll be nice. I'll maybe grab a couple just to keep as uncirculated uh, versions of this coin. And uh, we got a whole roll to go through to see if we can find any of the rotated die variations. So, so that's kind of cool. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. And uh, who knows what else is in there. So maybe, maybe that's part of the collection of stuff that this lady brought in. I have no idea. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's cross our fingers and hope we find something cool in here. So uh, I'll get myself set up and we'll start in the corner here. We can leave that closer to the end, work our way across, and uh, I'll bring you in when I find something. Okay. All right. So this is roll one. I dumped it out and I have not even really started to look at anything because I could see immediately that these are all some type of centennial or you know, commemorative quarters. Um, they appear to all be that. By the looks of it so yeah so let's uh let's go through this together and see what we've got here so well, this is the 2000 freedom and uh, we got a, a pretty decent enamel version there of the uh, pink ribbon um, some pretty decent shapes so we'll set that one aside uh, the remembrance day from 2005 is a nice coin um, but I don't see a lot of demand for that. And uh, so again, I, I got a couple really nice ones and I found something that was super sharp. I'd probably keep it. Another 2000 achievement. There are a couple in these that are ones that I want to check for variants. In 2000, it's the community, uh, creativity, harmony, and pride are the ones that um, have some stuff to look at. Uh, this is actually the 1992 um, series. So this is the original um, on, or province series, and this is a New Brunswick one. So uh, one of the key dates, uh, low mintage, not bad shape, So, but I'll definitely hang on to that. Um, it's around two, under 3 million uh, that were minted of those. So and for ARP, so that's well worth hanging on to. 1999 millennial quarter, um, June. So the mintages started going up in this series around August, September, somewhere in there. Uh, so the early ones are decent. I think most of them are in the teens, as far as uh, you know, 15, 19, 17 million, somewhere around there. For the 1999s, we got a foreign coin in there coming up. More natural legacy. So this uh, is this Barbados, Bermuda. I think I've got one of these before, but I'll set that up as a find. Yeah, and these are all more modern. They're um, after the ARP cutoff, so they're not culling these ones out. So they're not going to get any more rare. Uh, this one does have a variation. Uh, so the wheelchair has a mule coin, where the um, symbol for uh, the Paralympics is replaced with the regular Olympic symbol on it, but this one's not. So, so creativity has a P variant um, that is uh, quite rare. Uh, there's only five known, so chance of this having a P on it. We'll be jumping for joy if there is one, and there is no P. 
All right, and what's the last one here? This is another pride one, so we're looking for that rotated die. See if I can do this with, <laughs> without flipping it. Yeah, so that's not. Okay, well, we got a couple there. Um, they're questionable, uh, but they're not horrible to keep, so um, that's a good start. Roll one, let's move on to the next. Okay, so roll number two, and the next one is exactly the same thing. It's more of the same. So I won't go through them each individually. I'll just dig through these, and I'll bring you back in if I find anything that's worth keeping. Okay, so there really wasn't much in these. They're all pretty well circulated and nothing I really want to keep. So it does really look like somebody's had a, a collection, bit of a collection dump, but they're kind of, it almost looks like they're culling out some of the, the worst ones because um, they all have some pretty decent circulation where a couple of them aren't too bad, but they're ones that aren't particularly collectible. So uh, yeah, that's uh, it's kind of cool to find, but nothing too exciting in there. Roll seven, and we have a couple more finds here. So uh, we found a 2017 colored enamel, uh, not in great shape. It's pretty dirty. <laughs> more look at it, it's really dirty, um, but they're kind of hard to find. For now, I'm going to hang on to it. Uh, I have a feeling it won't end up making the cut at some point in the future, but uh, hang on to that for now. I did find a 1996 as well that has a mintage of about 20. 28 million, uh, so I tend to hang on to these. Again, not the greatest shape. Um, it, as I'm kind of discovering as I'm going through this, this does look like perhaps, uh, or perhaps somebody else's castaways, but uh, anyway, I'll hang on to that one for now. And then there's a really nice um, bobsled uh, one in here from 2010. I'm just gonna double check that against my book, make sure this doesn't improve anything. Roll eight, and we have another find. It's the women's hockey colored enamel. Uh, it's got some wear on it, as they all seem to, but uh, uh, this one is uh, low mintage. Again, about three million or so of these that were minted, and uh, definitely worth keeping all of these. So set that one up with the rest and moving on. Roll 13. We got a couple more finds here. So a nice one. Uh, Cindy Classen. There's um, only about three million of these that were minted, so that is an awesome little find there. It is worn. The high points are worn off as far as the enamel goes. Um, but don't find too many of those, so I will hang on to that. And did find another 1996 in okay shape. Uh, again, a little bit lower mintage. I do hang on to these just because with that ARP program, the stuff that was already low mintage, eventually there just won't be any of them in circulation, and I don't know how many people are actually thinking to hang on to some of that stuff, so I'll, I'll keep the best and, uh, and hang on to them as I go through. So roll 16, and we got another roll of relatively beat up commemorative coins here. Um, I am going to pull a couple out. There uh, is the Saskatchewan and the Prince Edward Island uh, from the Province series in 1992. Uh, again, not greatest condition, but I am a little less picky on these because they're a little bit older, a little bit harder to find. So I will hang on to those. Roll 27. We haven't had too many finds for a while, so I just thought I'd bring you in on this one. So we, I did count these up, uh, and uh, we are short one quarter, and they were nice, of us, nice enough to replace it with a dime. Same role, we also found uh, part of the Legendary Nature series, the Blue Enamel Orca Whale. And so that's from 2011, and those are minted about uh, 6.25 million, I believe, is the mintage on that. Roll 34, the finds are definitely slowing down here, but I did find a couple more. Uh, I got a 2008 uh, Armistice Poppy and a 1999 April, the Millennial Coin. Um, again, you know, circulation where is kind of on the border of what I would want to keep. Uh, but for now, I haven't caught a whole lot here, so I'm just going to set those aside, and uh, we can always pull them out later. Rule 35, we got three more finds in here. So we've got uh, three from the province series. We've got two New Brunswick's, which is awesome. These are the harder-to-find lower mint ones from that series, uh, down around just under three million that were minted of these each. And then the Quebec one. Um, forget i'm gonna it's probably in the 12 to 13 million or so that uh, we're meant to this particular one uh, but i'm keeping pretty much all these unless they're in really bad shape i have thrown a few back in roll 40 and i think we have our first silver find here folks uh so this is uh, i just dumped it out and you can see right there in the middle that looks pretty silver to me definitely has that uh that look to it so let's, uh, and this is a whole roll again of these commemorative coins. You can see by the edges uh, that they're all the commemorative ones. 
So we'll go through those in a second too, but let's take a look at what we got here. It's either really dirty. Oh, no, it is a silver coin, 1965. It's 80% silver, not a particularly uncommon date, um, but uh, that is silver. Gotta like it when we find silver. It's all scratched up there, but uh, there's no numismatic value in that uh, relative to the silver price. So love finding silver. That is the first one we found in a box in a little while, uh, and not not including the stuff that I've been posting. Um, I've probably gone through, I bet you, half a dozen boxes of quarters that haven't even made it to video. So, And we got our first silver. So I'll bring you back in. I'm going to take a look through the rest of these. Looks like we got a Centennial Mounted Police on the back there. That looks like a small bust. So, um, And we got some province coins in there. So I'll pull out what I want to keep and I'll bring you back in. If anybody's wondering how I know this, uh, I look at a lot of these and uh, so I know that's not the larger bust. And the, uh, the first giveaway is these denticles around the outside. Uh, the one that you're looking for, these denticles are much closer to the rim, so you can pretty quickly pick out whether that is uh, the large bust or the small bust just with that. And then if you really want to double check, um, I do keep a 72 close by, which is the, um, it's actually a mule coin that you're looking for where they put the 72 obverse on the um, commemorative uh 1973 and so you get the you would end up having this bust on this coin uh, which obviously those are this one's much bigger so yeah but uh the reason why i knew that was uh not because if you look again here a little close you can see the denticles on this one are much much closer to the rim than they are on this one here so pretty easy to figure out all right moving on roll 43 and we have been gifted with another short roll here. So you can see it right there. And uh, this time it looks like a nickel. Next roll, and we've got a couple more. Uh, we've got a first war of 1812, colorized enamel. Uh, again, a little over six million of these that were minted. A bit of circulation wear on our face, but uh, for the most part, that's not too bad. So I will set that one aside with the rest. And we got another 1996 uh, lower mintage one. So I'll put that with the other that I found earlier as well. All right, so we got three rolls to go. And uh, so what's that, roll 47? Um, and I would just start to dump this one out and I noticed right here on the end, this very first coin, haven't looked at it yet, don't know what it is, but it is definitely much thicker. So I'm assuming it's some kind of foreign coin. Um, well, it's got a queen's effigy on the obverse there. So let's just dump out the rest of this roll and oh, looks like another one of these uh, rolls full of commemorative quarters yeah lots of them in there so let's just take a look at what this is oh well that's a canadian quarter so i just thought i would voice over my original dialogue here uh, at the time i didn't know what this was but i have since figured out that it is a dryer coin actually uh, so I have run into this once before. Well, I didn't realize it at the time, but uh, I found something very similar to this in my, one of my dime boxes. And when I was doing the editing for that video, I did a little bit more research, and that's when I realized uh, what this is. So it is a dryer coin. You can kind of see that flat rim there uh, that's caused by the quarter rolling around in a dryer on edge. And for you know endless amounts of cycles, uh, it flattens out the edge, uh, makes the coin a little bit thinner than the original, as you can see here. And, uh, and widens the, uh, the, the rim. So um, that's all it is. It's nothing really too special. Uh, it's just something that has uh, happened after, after Mint. I thought maybe it was something in the way it was stamped, or, um, but that's not at all the case. It is, uh, it's just a dryer coin. Uh, it's not worth anything more. Um, just kind of an interesting little oddity there. You can see some of the damage that's done on the front of the quarter there where the, uh, the steel is kind of showing through the zinc. And uh, that's it. So all right, back to your regularly scheduled program. Uh, let's throw that up there with the rest, and uh, I'm going to... Oh, these ones look like they're in a little bit better shape. Look at this. Yeah, these are all got some decent gloss to them. Okay, let me look through these, and I will bring you back in and see. They look like they're all more or less the same ones. Uh, there's just a few of them here, so let me just take a look. Okay, so that was interesting. They look like they kind of came fresh out of a mint roll, although they all have little issues with them. So uh, lots of bag marks on them. They got lots of gloss. They look like mint fresh, but uh, uh, bits and dings and so on on them. And then they all seem to have kind of, or most of them have like watermarks. It almost looks like milk spotting that you would see on uh, on some of the Canadian maples. 
and I don't know if it picks it up on here, but this this kind of spotting, staining. It almost looks like maybe they got wet. I don't know. Anyway, um, I picked the best ones out because I did go through my book, and uh, they do upgrade what I had in my book for the most part, except for the Wisdom one. Um, I did have a pretty nice uh, Wisdom coin in there. So I will upgrade my collection with those and throw the rest back in. Uh, so that was kind of a cool little roll to run across. So the next roll is this guy. So I'll pull this one apart and we will get a nice uh, minty pride coin for the collection and I'll see if we've got any rotated dies in there. I'll bring you back uh, at the end of the roll. All right, so I went through them all, checked them all for the rotated die. There were none that were the rotated ones. I pulled out the four nicest of the bunch and even from this angle and this distance you can see there is quite a bit of nicks and dings and bag marks, I guess, if you want to call them, but rub, rubbing type of wear that's on these, uh, the obverse of these coins. Like for mint fresh right out of a roll, those are not the nicest specimens that I've ever seen. So um, the gloss is there, but there's just a lot of nicks on them. So, you know, I'm going to keep four of them um, just to, you know, put them in with uh, my collection that I've got here. I'll replace one in my book and I'll keep a few extras just for the fun of it. But yeah, like that was, uh, those were the nicest ones. These are some of the ones, and these were in the middle of the roll. Like this one here, you can see whatever these marks are, the staining on it, lots of dings. There was another one like this one here, and more, more staining and lots of marks. And these were in the middle of the roll. So it wasn't like they were getting edge damage as enders or anything like that. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't know what the story is behind all these. These were not the nicest mint packaged um, coins I've ever run across. I'll keep a few of them, and uh, we'll move on. We got two more rolls to go, so we'll see if we find anything interesting in there, and then we'll do the wrap up. So the box is done. We've gone through it all, and uh, not a bad hunt. I would say that was uh, a pretty good success. I'm certainly happy with it. We had some, some fun going through it. There were some interesting rolls. I would say probably about a quarter of the box were rolls of complete commemorative quarters. Uh, the unfortunate thing was is that they were, for the most part, pretty dinged up and not really in a condition that I really wanted to keep. So I really didn't keep much. Sorry, other than, I guess, these ones, which are the... Uh, the but they came from kind of a different set of rolls. The ones where I was finding tons of them in the rolls, didn't keep any of those. They were all pretty rough. Uh, and also the Vancouver Olympics, uh, there was a bunch of those in there, uh, but none of the colorized ones except for um, the two that I found down here. And so I'll just run through this. Uh, what do we got here? We, uh, we got uh, two from the Millennial Series in 1999. Uh, oops, sorry, three. I set this one down here. And uh, in reasonable shape, we got five here and then three down here that I kind of consider in some of my premier finds. Three of the New Brunswick's, which are uh, around three million, just under three million that were minted, uh, which is a much smaller uh, number than uh, the rest of them. So, uh, so that's great. Uh, you don't find too many of the New Brunswick ones, so happy to find those. Uh, some of decent of the um, enameled ones. Uh, or the frosted one, sorry, from the War of 1812. We've got two Laura Seacords, and is that a Brock? Yeah, uh, Isaac Brock. Uh, we got a um, colored Laura Seacord. We've got two from Bermuda. I found those ones before, so nothing too exciting there. We got one of the blue uh, Orcas from the Legendary Nature series, the pink ribbon ones, uh, but uh, keep a couple of those. They're not too bad a shape. This one here, I'm just going to check to see if it uh, uh, improves what I've got in my book. 2010 uh, Vancouver Olympics series. We got three from 1996. And then these ones that came out of the those rolls right near the end there. So got a nice selection. Uh, that'll improve all the ones in my book. So that's kind of nice. Uh, the two rolls, like all of these came out of a roll right beside the roll with the pride coins in it. So obviously part of the same group, but they all had the same problem. Looks like somebody dropped them in a bowl of water or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, and then I would say the finds of the hunt are these ones down here. So we got the three New Brunswicks, uh, all under that three million mark as far as mintage. Uh, same with the women's hockey. Um, I actually find fewer of these coins than I do of silver uh, for the most part. Actually, even this one for that matter. Um, I probably only found four or five of these particular ones, the 2017 enamels. Um, this one's not in the greatest shape. Um, but I'll keep it anyway. And of course, uh, silver. So it's always fun to find a silver. Uh, some definite value there always. 1965 is one of the more common years, uh, but it's silver. So I'll take it. 
that is it. Thank you very much for watching this hunt. I really appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Having fun with this. Hopefully we find more silver. That's always the goal in these. And I love doing quarters. Quarters, there's always some neat stuff to find. So, all right. Thanks for coming along. Take care.